In this video, we are going to discuss simple mail transfer protocol. In short, we shall be call it as SMTP. The actual mail transfer is done through message transfer agent that is MTA. To send a mail, a system must be the client MTA and to receive a mail, the system must be the server MTA. The formal protocol that defines the MTA client and MTA server in the internet is called simple mail transfer protocol that is SMTP. Two pairs of MTA client and server programs are used in the most common situation. So here you see here we are having the sender and there we are having the receiver. So here we are working with the SMTP that is a mail server internet and that is another mail server it might be working with say POP3 or say IMAP4 or say SMTP whatever. So, in this way we are going for transferring our mails from sender to the receiver. So, SMTP is used two times because the sender and the sender's mail server and between the two mail servers another protocol is needed between the mail server and the receiver. So, there are we are having this particular SMTP which has been used for twice you can find this one we have used that one twice. So, between the sender and the sender's mail server and between the two mail servers and another protocol is needed between the mail server and the receiver. So, here you see we are having this port from the sender to this mail server one time SMTP from this mail server to this mail server another SMTP and another protocol is required from the mail server to the respective recipient. So, another protocol is needed between the mail server and the receiver or receiver or the recipient. SMTP simply defines how commands and responses must be sent back and forth and each network is free to choose a software package for the implementation. Command and responses, SMTP uses commands and responses to transfer message between an MTA client and also MTA server. Each command or, or reply is terminated by a two character one is the line feed and another one is the carriage return. So, two characters must be terminating one is the carriage return and another one uh, another one is the line feed at the end of the line token. Commands, commands are sent from the client to the server it consists of a keyword followed by 0 or more arguments. SMTP defines 14 commands. So, that is very important. SMTP defines 14 commands. The first are mandatory and every implementation must support these 5 commands. So, out of these 14, these 5 commands are to be supported and that is mandatory. The next 3 are often used. So, 5 plus 3 is 8 and highly recommended and last 6 are seldom used. So, 8 plus 6 we are having 14. So, we are having SMTP defines 14 commands. So, here you can find that there are set of different commands are there and the respective arguments. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, 14 commands we have mentioned here with the respective arguments. Responses. Responses are sent from the server to the client and a response is a three digit code that may be followed by additional textual information. And these are the examples of this. So, you see the three digit code is there. So, if you consider 211 means system status or help reply, 451 command aborted local error, 502 command not implemented. So, three digit code will be there in this particular response. So, mail transfer phases, the process of transferring a mail message occurs in three phases. One is the connection establishment, next one is the mail transfer and then connection termination. So, in this discussion we have decided that we shall give you a brief idea regarding this electronic mail and what are the commands and responses, how many commands are there, what will be the format of the response we have discussed everything into certain details thanks for watching this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning